Good afternoon. Bill Roberts back with the What Happened to Your Productions. And I have yet another very special episode to show you today. Um, if you'll remember, uh, a while ago, I gave a lesson on the trombone. Well, because of that lesson and the rave reviews, just got such positive feedback. I mean, it was... It was really great. Everyone just had really great things to say. Very good questions. Very good questions. I hope I answered them all as best as I could. Um, I know a lot of my answers probably, again, were a little bit complex. May have gone over your heads, but I tried to dumb it down a little bit. Uh, but anyway, uh, without any further ado, because of that video, I decided to give everyone working on the trombone lesson a little bit more time, because I know it was a lot to come at you all at once and bring you another special episode. Except today, I'm going to show you another one of my uh, natural instruments, actually. The saxophone. The saxophone. We're going to learn how to play the saxophone today. I'm going to teach you three notes. Uh, the B, then we're going to take a look at the G, and then the F. Anyway, this is the saxophone case. Right now I'm going to be playing an alto saxophone. Um, one of the, the most common of the saxophones. Uh, this is the, the body of the instrument, or the bell piece. Um, if you remember the bell piece of the trombone, this is similar, except it's the bell piece of the... That's right. Saxophone. Very good. Very good. Doing quite well. Uh, right here, we're going to have the... Uh, this would be called the neck and mouth piece. Um, and attached to that piece is the, um, this is the actual mouthpiece, and there's some contraptions that go together here, there's some unscrewing that's got to be done here, but again, if you don't know how to do that, then you're already lost, so we're not even going to cover that today. Uh, instead, we're just going to jump right into placing the neck piece onto the bell piece, just fits size right in there, like that, and you're going to want to make sure it's at a pretty good uh, angle to the bell there, you know, straighten straight in front, just kind of line it up real nicely. Then you're going to want to tighten it down with this little uh, tightening screw nodule. Make sure it's nice and tight there. Very good. And once you feel good about that, then we're going to have to attach the, uh, the other piece. This is the uh, strap, okay? And you'll see there's a little hole here in the back. We're just going to clip that right in. And then it's pretty, uh, pretty neat what happens. It slides right over the neck there and... Ha! That feels real, that feels really, really nice. Okay, when holding the saxophone, your left hand, thumb's gonna go right about here along the back. Okay, you can see that. First finger, right here, on that first peg, if you can see right there. Second finger on the second key, or peg. Um, and then the third finger on the not not the one in the middle here. We're going to put it on this one, the fourth one down. Not the big, small one, but the bigger one. One, two, three, just like that. Thumb resting in the back. That's your left hand. Your right hand, the thumb is going to fit right in this little uh, notch right there. That's called the thumb notch. That's where the thumb's going to sit. It's like so. So we get our right hand set, and then the uh, first finger on the left hand is going to go right here. And the second finger is going to go right there. Third finger, right down there. Everyone see? So anyway, yeah, that's, how we, that's how we're going to hold the saxophone. To play the note itself, we're going to start with a B, I said, B. All you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, get, your, get your lips on the, the mouthpiece here. Okay, we're going to kind of wet it down, wet it down a little bit. Get it nice and warmed up. There we go. Uh, we're going to hold down this first peg here to play our B. All right, everyone ready? So hold down the first peg, and then we're going to blow in. Oh, here, right, 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 right. You hear that? That squawk before, that was, that's good. You'll, that's a good thing. Um, it's just uh, letting you know that, you know, uh, everything is um, is in line here. So we're going to go ahead and just B one more time. Go for that clear, clean tone that you heard from me. You know, remember that? Nice tone. 
There you go. There's your B. Okay. All right, that was the B. Next note, we're going to hold down the uh, the G, all right? We're going to go with the third finger here, this guy, that guy right there, third finger, ring finger. And we're going to hold this guy down, okay? And that's going to be our G. Here we go. Let's hear the G. All right, there you go. Nice, huh? Nice. It's just the same with the trombone lesson. You know, I've, for me, it was a natural thing. I picked this instrument up and just, I could play. I mean, just like the trombone. I don't know what it is with, with me and, and wind instruments. I just have a, a knack for it. I don't know. Uh, but, um, but yeah, so, you know, keep working. You'll get there. You'll get there. Okay, our last note today uh, that we're going to learn is the F. And once again, we're going to hold down with the first finger here in the right hand. That's going to be our F. So we're going to hold that down. And like I said, just let it, you know, let it go. Let it flow. Feel it. Here we go. F. And. There it is. There it is. So, B. Nope, oh, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Okay, B. Yeah, B. Okay, B. And your G. And your F. There you go. Very, very nice. Uh, saxophone. Beautiful instrument. And uh, like I've said before, wouldn't be a what happened to your productions without a little tune. Don't worry. I'll let you go. Let's go ahead and uh, jazz it up here with a little number I call uh, saxophone jazz. So uh, sit back and maybe one day you can sound like this too. Here we go. There you go. Saxophone. Alto saxophone. Don't forget that. Got it? All right. If there are any questions, Feel free to, again, post them on the YouTube page. I'll be able to answer them as best as possible. You know that I'll be able to answer them. There's nothing you can't run by me. All of you on the trombone lesson already knew that, though. Uh, I'm a natural. Uh, also, if you uh, have any more questions and uh, you just want to dig further and increase your musical knowledge overall, I encourage you to look up the um, this, the basic guide to how to read music. It's great. It will show you all sorts of things like to how to play the saxophone, maybe. Uh, to how to play piano. Good. Uh, to how to play the trombone. I mean, it could show you to how to do all sorts of things that you have to know to how to do in music if you have what you have to do them with. Basic Guide to How to Read Music. Uh, that'll help a lot. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it's been great. Uh, I've had a lot of fun. I always do on these lessons. Remember, please, any questions, comment on the page. I'll answer them as quickly as possible. If there are any other instruments you'd like to see, I'm proficient at really everything. There's nothing you really can't, uh, can't uh, whiz by me there. So, um, it's been a pleasure. And I'll see you guys next time on What Happened to Your Productions. Stay jazzy. Serious.